too bad. Her case doesn't interest me. She bores me, in fact. You know what, Wesson? You're going to treat her. You're going to treat her. I'm going to cut you in that room myself. Come on, stop, stop. time to be playing games. This young woman has suffered enough. Now, if I were you, I would go down and start your preparations, or we'll reinstate the charges against you. After what this woman did to me? What do you mean what I did to you? She refused treatment, doctor. She turned the other patients against me and is responsible for causing a scandal that lost me my clinic and my freedom. And you want me to fix her? I still her smear her with honey and cover her with fire. Oh, you, you want me to apologize for what you did to what me? What is going on out here? We got a problem. He's refusing to treat Rose. What? No, no, that wasn't the agreement, Weston. Oh, oh, the agreement. The agreement that was reached um, in the dark of night at the end of civilization with a gun pointing at me. Well, you're in a hospital now, Jack. You're not going to be able to shoot your gun off, right, Bob? Fine. Fine, we'll call the Bureau. We'll go back to the original charges. Oh? And watch as Rose continues to uh, decay and wither. No, I don't think so. What do you want? I want something more. I want a new deal. Or else Rose is doomed to, well, this. Oh, my wrist can't be broken. How am I going to sell videos if I can't curl? <sighs> Then what's wrong? No, I'm fine. No, I'm not, all right? She's gone too far this time, okay? She has crossed the line. We have... We have played by the rules, okay? Calling the cops, living by Dahlia's game plan. That's... That is it. It's gone too far. I know, That's I it. understand. I'm with you. Well, I'm sorry, okay? I've done a lousy job of protecting you, but it stops here, Katie. You are not going to get hurt again. Honey. I'm not the only one in danger. She's after you, too. Look at what just happened. We could both be dead right now. We're in this together, babe. Whether we like it or not. Ah. Now, after what you have been through, physically, emotionally, depression is to be expected. Give yourself time to recover before you start questioning your purpose in life. It's, it's not that. It's just that. Family doesn't come back. No. I think there's every reason to be hopeful. How? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you in session? No, no. We're just chatting. I, I just got off ship, and I ran into John. He said that Weston character is treating Carly and Rose. Well, I'm thrilled for them, of course, but I... I don't know. I just felt somehow... So we've used up all our miracles. I don't know. Have we? They should have found Emily by now. I, I've got a patient, but can I just say one thing before I go? These women were not caught in an avalanche. Their plane didn't go down. They were deliberately abducted. And they've been returned when James Stanbeck felt like returning them. So I just think it's premature to draw any conclusions about him. Thank you, Liz. I'll look in on you later. How are you? Bad. <laughs> Good. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to dump all my uh, fear, selfishness. I really am happy for Rose and Carly. It's just... You don't have to explain it to me, Susan. I'm just as worried as you are. I don't know what to say anymore. What do I say to Daniel when he asks me, when is Mommy coming home? What do I tell him? He's with Tom and Marvel. And they've been great. And and Allison and I have been there every day, but without his Mommy. Susan, when I get out of here, I have made up my mind. I'm going to be right. I don't care. Army, Interpol, and the FBI have got trained Malamutes over there. I'm going back there, and I'm going over every inch of it, over every cave, over every crevice, over every cabin, and I am going to find her, and I am going to bring her back here. Thank you. Thank you. You know I can't let you go. No, you can't. 
I had no idea how much this meant to you, James. It's not negotiable. I know that. I'll do whatever you want. Kill it. Is that what you want me to do? But replace me, please! Nicely done. I almost believed you. These months I spent with you, I'd be a fool to lie to you. I'd never get away from it. Besides, Jane, I love you. I had no idea how much I needed this to look like myself again. You gave this back to me. I'd do anything for you. Anything. Would that prove to you that I'm yours? Shine, shine, don't squeeze it. Ah, baby, we have to get this looked at as soon as possible. I know, and as soon as we get it all taped up, we need to come up with a new plan. We have to start thinking of Dahlia, so we get there before she does. Oh, I'm sick of being a step behind and an hour late. I know, it's okay. We're gaining on her. She wanted me dead, and I only got a little hurt. It's better, it is. I'm in this together, whether we like it or not. What? I'm so glad I married you. Why? Because I'm such a good sport? Yeah, mm, apparently. Oh. What? What? You brought your arm? No, I just realized something. We're having our own adventure. With me and no, no. <laughs> I'm serious. Do you know how long I waited for you to worry about me like you worried about her? All right, you can tell me about it on the way to the hospital. You're, you're in shock. You're delirious. Oh, Come please. on. Please, I'm serious. Right. Here we are in our own yeah. house with our own adventure, and I'm happy. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm happy. And I am too. Careful. She could towels, sheets, linens. We could put them in the trunk, wrap her up in them. What do you say? There's a linen closet out in the hallway. You're trying to get rid of me. Oh, no. I'll go. You can kill her. You would accept any challenge, won't you, my dear? Hmm? I married you. Finish her off. By the time you get there. You treat Rose, I break your neck. Oh, 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 get off me, Jack! Damn it, get off me! Oh, uh, look, it's young love, or I should say May, December romance. The feds, they don't have a sense of humor with people who renege. Oh, I'm not talking about reneging. I'm talking about augmenting. You see, I still want to go to some place safe and sunny, but this time, I want a million dollars to cushion my fall. And I want to go to Spain. No one is looking for me there. Oh, and I want it in writing. Well, then, our poor Rosie, she gets to turn all the mirrors to the wall. It's up to you, Jack. You understand me or not? <laughs> 